Hi, this is Tim from the e-learning department, and today we're going to talk about using templates. The e-learning department has provided several templates in the e-learning faculty toolkit, which you can find over in Canvas Commons. If you haven't seen our other video on using Canvas Commons, be sure to go check out that one as well. When using templates, you first need to find the template in the toolkit module. Then we're going to make a copy of it and add it to the new page that you're creating. One mistake that I've seen some faculty make is that they want to use, for example, this module start page template. And so they open up the template and start editing it and move it into the module where they want it. The problem with that is, if you ever wanted to use that template again, you'd have to go back to Commons and download the whole toolkit all over again. So the best option here is to actually make a copy of the template first. So we're going to go into the template. Now we could copy this content here, and you see here that we've got places for the title, what module number it is, give some little narrative to your introduce your module, here's a place for your objectives, and some fun icons that tell students what to read or to do an assignment and things like that. And you can completely edit and alter these templates any way you want. But instead of copying the content here, what we found to be more consistent and more accurate is to go into the editor and then go into the HTML view and copy this content. So you don't need to know how to edit any HTML. HTML is all this code language that tells the browser what to view on or to show on your website. You don't need to know how to edit or manipulate any of this at this time. All we want to do is select it all and you could also use keyboard shortcuts. Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC to select all and then copy it. Okay. Now I've got all the code copied to my clipboard so I can cancel out of the template. This way I've left the template pristine so that if I want to come back and use the template again, it's not messed up in any way. I'm going to go back to my modules, find the module that I want to add content to and I'll click plus to add a page. I'm going to add a new content page. I'll call this template practice. Here's my template practice page and so I'll go into that page Click Edit. Again, I'm going to go back into the HTML view again and paste in that code there. So that's dropped in all the code for that template. Little pro tip here, if this is a template that you're going to be using over and over, for example, this is a module level page, module level, then you're going to be repeating it over and over. So you might drop over to Microsoft Word and drop that in as well. So I could just paste it here on this document. And now I can come back and get this code quickly if I need to use it again. I'm still in the HTML view here, so I'm going to switch back to my rich content editor and you can see that everything appears as it did before with the graphics and everything intact. Because when you imported the module from Canvas Commons into your course, it brought in all the resources along with it. Okay, we could save at this point just to be safe, or you can then come in and start editing. So if this is your module three checklist, you can just select areas. Module introduction narrative, we could say things like, let me select this whole sentence. In this module, we will. And so you can see that this is completely editable, and so this is a great way to save time to have bring a consistent look to your course by using the templates that eLearning has provided for you. Remember the best practice is to go into the edit view, go into the HTML editor, and copy the HTML code and paste it into your new page. That way you leave a pristine copy of the template in place and you can reuse that code by pasting it into new pages again and again. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, let us know in the eLearning department.